you want me to back it up a little bit more? I'd say so. I mean, it takes away the. After all, this anchors our hands, so we do not use our hands to talk with because we would. For everybody be, that wants to we know, we would be slapping each other. <laughs> <laughs> So we are back in my mom's kitchen today and you guys really seem to enjoy the last video that we did together which really had the recipe of all recipes with the sticky bun. So I will leave that link below if you guys have not seen that video. But I'm pretty much going to let my mom June take over because she is going to share a few recipes that are some of her favorites today and she knows more about it than I do. So go ahead. Do you want to tell them what we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to make some beef stroganoff um, my way. And um, <laughs> see, in my kitchen, when we do recipes, when I do recipes, it's my way. So anyhow, um, we're also going to do some deviled eggs. And we're going to be doing some roasted vegetables and a chocolate cake. The that best. Is the best. The favorites of the cake. family. So mm -hmm. anyway. With a secret ingredient. Oh, yes, yes. Secret. Secret and so I'm going to share it with you. We'll share the And secret. you'll like that. So you so, want to stick around to the chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing today. All right. Sounds good. So she has a lot of things laid out here, and I'm going to turn the camera around, and we're going to get started. The first thing that she did was wash up some red potatoes and get them cut up and into a pot to boil up to make some simple mashed potatoes just leaving the skin on and just cutting them all around the same size then she fried up her meat and dumped that into a different container and set it aside my mom is the type of cook that just kind of makes her recipes as she goes as you'll see throughout this video so i will write all of the ingredients and instructions in the description box below so it's simpler for you to follow along if you're going to make any of these recipes You won't clean your pan out because you do want the flavor of the meat that was there, but you'll add some butter to the pan and get that melting. Next, she cut up her mushrooms, onions, and minced her garlic. You'll want to cook everything through until your onions start to um, get a little bit clear and then you'll add in your flour and continue to stir as you go. As she was adding the different ingredients, she was also adding splashes of her beef broth you can also use bone broth as that's a little bit of a healthier option but you want to keep some moisture in your pan so that your ingredients don't burn she did add sour cream and cream cheese to this mixture and i think it just adds so much flavor and she also added some fresh ground black pepper. Then you'll want to add your meat back in and as you can see this is a very quick dish to make. When her potatoes were done she just drained off what water was left and added in some butter and just used a hand masher 
to mash them up and they really had that homemade mashed potato look feel and taste you could put this on top of noodles zucchini noodles but mashed potatoes is what she decided to do this day The next recipe that she wanted to show you is her deviled eggs and you just peel up the eggs and then you add in a few ingredients. I think that she does make them a bit different than mine because I know I have shown you all my recipe for deviled eggs. And the other thing that she also does is use her submergent blender to blend it up and make it really, really smooth. And she just used her cookie scoop to quickly scoop out the middles. You could also put the yellow part into a Ziploc bag, cut the corner and squeeze it out onto the whites if you wanted to. She started into a roasted veggie pan, just cutting up all of her veggies that she was going to add in. And she's got a great tip she'll show you here in a moment on how to get them to soften up in the oven. So once they have baked for a little while, I'll leave the time below, she adds a little bit more olive oil, a little more nutritional yeast, and then she puts a piece of tin foil just kind of setting on top of all of the veggies. It helps them to steam and helps them to soften up a little. While the veggies were roasting up, we got into the chocolate cake. This is really simple and the secret ingredient is adding some coffee. It does not taste like coffee. I have family members that do not like coffee that love this cake, but it just adds another flavor and it adds a richness to the cake that I don't really think anything else can. If you're looking for anything in this video, there's a good chance that the links will be below in the description box. And that is one of my mom's dogs, Pixie. While the cake was in the oven, she got started on making the frosting and it's a very simple recipe. I'll leave it in the description box.
thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe if you're new, and that you can pin any of these recipes in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.